pretty clear. 10% belongs to God. 10% tithe is what we're supposed to give. That's sort of a baseline. There's tithes and there's offerings. Tithe is one thing. Offerings are on top of that. We're not going to go into all the scripture and, and, and theology around that. Um, the Bible, Bible talks clearly about that 10% as a starting place. So, so let's use these 10 dimes as, uh, to, to represent the dollars we're talking about today. If I live in debt, and, and therefore I've already spent, say, six dimes before I even make them, then I have four dimes with which to respond to God. But if I trim that debt to three or four dimes, then I have six or seven dimes to respond to God with. Now let me ask you, how many dimes does God own? Now a lot of Christians would say, one, 10%. No, God owns all the dimes. He owns all 10 of them. He asks us to give one right all the time, right off the top. Give one. And, and, but then he says, well, what are we going to do with the other nine? Oh, those are mine to decide how I spend them. Uh, no. It's still God's. How can I honor God with that? And, 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 he, and he's, he's blessed us all. I mean, roofs over our heads and, and, and food in our bellies and, and, and clothes on our back and, and, and vehicles that some work better than others at the moment. <laughs> uh, and, 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 you know, it's, yeah. So, so we're allowed to spend those things. But we're in partnership with God about all those dimes. What's that partnership look like for you? How are you partnering with God to do what he's calling you to do? How are you connecting with the heart of God in the midst of all that's going on in our world and in your life? It's not about the amount. It's about your heart and God's heart. This is where it connects. Let's pray together. God, thank you for the gift of all ten dimes. And thank you for the trust and the partnership that you want with us. And how to change our world. by our stewardship of those dimes. God, we don't understand why we have been blessed more than others. We know the economics of it and, and all, but because we were born here and in this, in this place, and we've, we've got a, a blessing and a responsibility. So help us, God, to, to listen to you and to respond to you in the ways that, that you call us to. Help us, God, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. So with our, uh, with our Live Simply project, uh, as we've always done, uh, you can give any time to that. Just make sure it's marked Live Simply. But uh, Christmas... Um, uh, fall, uh, Christmas Eve falls on a Sunday this year. Usually we've done a Christmas Eve Eve and a Christmas Eve worship where the entire offering goes to Live Simply. We're only doing that Christmas Eve. Uh, so if you're here Christmas Eve morning for regular worship, uh, that offering's staying, staying here unless you mark it. Um, and, and again, <laughs> 
we can't we can't be doing that or I'm going to send out that letter bring your winter coat next week uh, and uh, and as usual uh, has been our tradition here not to have worship on the last Sunday of the year kind of gives our servants and, and volunteers a, a little bit of a break uh, and uh, somebody asked me if we were gonna gonna have worship this year and I said I hope not because a friend of mine I uh, knew that we didn't have worship and he's going to be gone and asked me to speak at his church and I already said yes. <laughs> so, uh, and, uh, uh, but we have uh, certainly very capable uh, uh, fill-ins and, and guests. So, um, so that's kind of how Live Simply, uh, Simply works. So just, uh, just so you know that before we pass around the offering baskets. So uh, thank you for your gifts. Thank you for your giving, which is, I know, sacrificial. Uh, and uh, know that we, uh, we seek to be good stewards of that in uh, every single way possible. So, there's Katie. <laughs> Gotta grab that. <laughs> Maybe, you know, he's, he's reaching. There we are. Awesome. A couple, uh, couple of more announcements. Um, there's a, uh, a youth ministry dinner at the Schroer's house. Uh, you should have gotten an email uh, about that. Uh, if you're uh, you're in that age group, and uh, if you if you didn't for some reason, uh, come talk to me uh, or Diane, our piano player, uh, and uh, we will uh, we will help you uh, find your way there. Um, we are uh, helping two families uh, with Christmas this year, and there are gift tags on the table out in the lobby. Uh, for you to, if you want to help with that, you can pick up, you know, okay, we're going to help with this, going to help with that. Uh, and uh, those gifts need to be back uh, on the 10th, uh, Friday the 15th, a community prayer gathering with Tabitha's Closet, our clothing ministry. Uh, and uh, 6.30 to 7, uh, rain or, uh, or snow. Uh, it won't be shining because it's 6.30 and it'll be dark. Uh, either way. And then on Saturday, the next day, uh, Christmas breakfast, uh, which is always a great time, great way to serve our community. Uh, set up about 7 o'clock uh, and uh, come for an hour, come for three hours, come for the whole time. There's sign-ups in the lobby again. Uh, this is not something where there's like a steady stream of people. It kind of comes in, in groups. And so there's some times where we're standing around talking to one another and, and uh, fellowshipping that way and doing some, doing some work. And there's other times where it can get busy. It's just kind of how that, that kind of Saturday works. But sign up uh, in the lobby for that. Anything else? There they are. So uh, uh, that's what we'll do, and we'll tell you more about that Christmas uh, weekend uh, as well. Five o'clock, right? Five o'clock. Oh, but you had something else. The. It's video. dangerous to give people microphones, you know? I love having them. <laughs> <laughs> yes, ma'am. See me after worship to make your video? Me? Me. Oh, <laughs> I thought she was calling me. Worship. See me after worship. Uh, so uh, uh, next week we're uh, we're starting a series for Advent about uh, about what stresses you out, what 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 br makes you anxious, and and how the the Christmas story uh, really comes comes to bear on our lives, and uh, and it is the answer for that. And what we're looking for are some uh, little ten second, eleven second videos uh, about uh, you know. Hi, I'm Sue, and this stresses me out. Uh, and, uh, you know, hi, I'm Jessica, and, and this stresses me out. Uh, and uh, if, you, if you're going to say a person stresses you out, make sure they're not next to you uh, when, when you say that. Uh, but uh, they'll see it on the screen anyway. So we're going to compile all those, and we'd love to see those. See April. You going to go out there now? <laughs> so uh, see, see April after worship uh, up here, or you might might see her in the lobby if you want to do that, or take it take it yourself uh, at home, and uh, and then either send it to April or myself, uh, and you'll find that information in our email, or again come talk to me. So, Whew. yes, sir. Yes, because they are not relevant this year. We're not going to put them out. <laughs> so, go door to yeah, door. I know. E almost every year it works, uh, but except this year. Uh, so, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll just have to forego that. So thank you for that reminder because I was looking at those in my garage the other day. Hey, let's stand and sing ourselves out. Two. 